Okay, hello everyone, this is OK here, and we have a special instructive stream here about a Crazy House theme. So the last Crazy House theme we did was the back rank mate, which is just as important in Crazy House as in standard chess. And what we're going to quickly look at today as sort of prelude to the CWC candidates match that's about to happen, variants only against 264 Brock, we're going to have a look at the cookie crumb or cookie crumbing theme in Crazy House. And this you don't see, and unlike the back rank mate, you don't really see very often in standard chess. Hi there, Abhijit. Um, so Abhijit says, I like your coinage of cookie crumb. Actually, you have Joanna Tries to thank for that. She is the one who coined it. Um, so it's like the Pied Piper dropping cookies, uh, drawing the opponent king up the board usually into a mating net, or drawing him out and then pushing him back into a mating net. And it's quite a complex theme really, but it's very, very common. So a much simpler theme would be something called the magnet mate, where you draw the king to a square where it can be checked. And the cookie crumb theme is really a more complicated version of the magnet mate. Hi there, uh, Blunderman, and who says she is a writer after all. Yes. Um, so just to start with a very complicated example, just because it's beautiful. Um, on the face of it, this black king is very safe because there are no pawn checks, any rook check can be blocked. There's, and yet there's a very beautiful mate here. So you draw the king onto a square where it can be checked. And you don't have a knight, so you have to draw it again onto a diagonal. Once you've got it on the diagonal, you then draw it up. And you'd like to go bishop here. I'm, I'm sure uh, bishop here might also work. Uh, apparently not. So bishop... So I hadn't even seen this. So bishop here doesn't work because king to d6. And now this is protected. This you could take and maybe run back, maybe. So yeah, really difficult one. You have to bring your knight in. And if the king just goes like this, then the problem is queen takes d5, um, knight takes g6 king to e8 and pawn at f7 is checkmate so so you have to sacrifice the queen and of course if you take it then black will be checkmating you no doubt um, i'm not going to show it but uh, knight to t2 followed by knight to h3 is checkmate so you don't take it what you do is you draw the king onto a square where you can take it take that queen with check so bishop here sidestep pawn here and he can't go to this square or else you take the queen as check and he'll be mated, so he takes here. Pawn here. And again, he can't run back because if he tries to run back, then queen at e6 is checkmate. And he can't, this is a slightly more tricky, he can't run forwards because of queen d3 and then taking the queen with check and the new queen. So he does have to take it. One more check and again, if he tries to sidestep, then queen of d3 is just checkmate straight away. So he takes it like this and finally deliver mate. So this is just a paradigmatic example of a cookie crumb, but it's not paradigmatic. It's a, quite unusual because you're cookie crumbing with rooks and before the standard cookie crumb with pawns. But you're drawing the king from, where did the king start? The king started on h7 and is drawn all the way to a3 to be checkmated. Um, so Abhijit's asking for the for the study link, so I'll just copy that and paste it in. And this will also be a, the, accompany the video. Um, okay, so not sure how far we'll get, but let's do some cookie crumbing. Okay, so the most standard cookie crumb is drawing the king out along diagonals. But before we do that, I just want to show you this example from a game by Aman, where he actually found a cookie crumb 
in standard chess. But this is very unusual. Uh, the opponent made a mistake by taking this knight sacrifice. He, he should have just groveled a pawn down. Queen to d to e3. He opponent took. Bishop here. And wherever the king goes, knight here is checkmate. Because the knight covers this square. So if you go this way, it's still checkmate. Um, and if you at this point step back, that's no good either because of bishop here and you have a twin mate threat on g1 and f2. So this is a kind of weird example of a cookie crumb in standard chess, but it is very unusual. So unlike the back rank mate, which we covered in the last Crazy House Themes video, this is a very unusual theme in standard chess, but you still have to be aware of it. Uh, Abhijit's praising my mic. Thanks so much. It's a new mic. So let's see some examples of drawing that king out along along a color complex. So you draw him out, draw him out, draw him out again. If he takes, then you mate him with the queen here's checkmate. So he tries to, if he steps back, then queen here and knight here's checkmate. So he tries to avoid, but now a knight and a queen is checkmate. So that's the first example. Let's look at the second. What do we do? We will draw him out along the diagonals. We have plenty of diagonals in hand. So we draw that king out along the diagonals. And well, here it's very easy with the rook in hand. Okay, let's look at the third example. Take on f7 and just draw him out along these diagonals. And now the knight's in. Um, how do we finish it off with a pawn and a queen? So I'm, I'm actually covering up the analysis so that if at any point you want to try a puzzle, like later if people are looking at the video and they want to pause, that they can actually attempt these as puzzles. But I'm just going to go through them quite quickly. Um, Lucas Schacht, I remember that Amman game. Yes, it was. I think it was even just in the last week or two. So, um, so what's the finish here? He's threatening. I'm thinking pawn here and queen here. Is that going to do it? it I think queen here he's still hang on why isn't qu oh queen here is not protected yeah so queen here and pawn here and you eventually get it okay let's look at a fourth example now there's no pawn check but we have plenty of knights and there's a pawn hanging here so you take this one and now there's a pawn check and you draw him up of course if he steps back there's a knight and pawn mate and you, this is a really weird one so in hand, we only have two pawns and a knight, but we want to bring the queen into the action. But if we bring the queen in too soon, the opponent just blocks. So you draw him a little bit further up, and then you bring the queen in. Of course, he can't go this way because pawn here is checkmate, and he can't go this way because otherwise pawn here and queen here is checkmate. So, well, that's what happened. Uh, or it can happen in the other order, queen here first and pawn here. And uh, the knight's cutting off the escape. Okay, let's look at number five again. Any chess player would just immediately take this pawn. Beautiful position and completely winning. But the crazy house player recognizes there's something stronger. The cookie crumb and then take the pawn. And now the beautiful move, cutting off the escape of the king back. The king is driven forwards and no pieces in hand, just, just one pawn. Um, why not this? Because then this, that will also, um, hang on a second. Why not this? That's that's mate straight away. Oh, I see. This is also checkmate. Okay, so these are all just mates in one. Yeah, these all work. F4, D4. Okay, a sixth example. Just drawing along diagonals. Another easy one. If anyone wants to pause videos and, and to test their calculation, they can. But I'm just going to show you these Okay, so pawn, brilliant move here, controlling this square, and now the queen mates. And this is a very famous mate where the two block uh, pieces alongside a king which are blocking it. Um, and I always confuse, one of them's called a dovetail mate and the other one's called a swallowtail mate. So it's one of those two. Not possible to pause today. Yeah, I'm just racing through them, I'm sorry. But um, to be honest, these are, yeah. Um, yeah, these should be fairly straightforward. So 
pawn takes okay so it's not straight so bishop so that you if it comes back you're going to go queen here and knight here checkmate if he takes then you're simply going to go queen here and um and bishop here checkmate so you drawing him up yes Okay, um, now this is actually a mate even missed. This is maybe an early Upper Ways and Jan Lee game, and Jan Lee missed a very easy. I mean, he completely he won the game anyway, but he missed a very easy um, cookie crumb mate, which is this. Obviously, if you sidestep here, it's checkmate. So, in a sense, these moves are fairly obvious because what else? When you know it's a cookie crumb mate, um, what else are you going to do? Pawn here, queen lands, and rook lands, checkmate. So instead, in the actual game, he took the pawn and he soon won anyway. And then my last example is a very beautiful example from this year's Crazy House World Championship between Anjou Nakamura as black and Kireka Chess Champ as white. And Anjou Nakamura did go on to win this game, but he had a really, really beautiful way of winning, which was, and it's an unusual one, it's not drawing the king up the board, but drawing the king along this rank. So if the king goes anywhere... Queen, a queen. If the king doesn't take, queen landing will be mates. So you have to take, drop it. If the king goes back, a pawn and a queen will mate. So you've got to take it. Again, if you try and run away, you know a queen and a rook is easily mating. So you've got to take it. And now you have to be a little bit careful. You have to be accurate here. Knight to b3. So it cuts the king off from this square. If you go knight to uh, b1, the king runs here, queen here, king takes the knight, rook here, the king can get some measure of safety. Um, and now if the king goes here, just the, the, the queen here, rook here, and queen takes pawn checkmate. And if the king goes the other way, it's very easy, it's even easier. Queen here, for example, and rook here, checkmate. And if the king goes here, rook here, checkmate. Oh, ch hi there, Chuckles TV. Yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, thanks, Abhijit, for explaining. You just missed the beginning. Of the, these are cookies you drop. I mean, this is a really nice example. This the cookies you drop to draw the king into a dangerous square and then finish him off. And as I said, I showed an example in standard chess, but it's very unusual in standard chess, um, but very common in Crazy House. Really, really important Crazy House theme. Um, Joanna tries is not the strongest Crazy House player, but she is uh, she plays a lot and it, and uh, she she's got very good intuition but unfortunately but she's not uh, she hasn't got great calculation so she's a very she's very experienced crazy house player but she doesn't have the calculation of the masters um, so basically her standard chess holds her back okay now we have five minutes until the the, the match starts now Drawing the king out is all well and good, but often the way you checkmate your opponent is you draw him out and then cut him off from running back. This is such a common theme that it, I'm just making it like a sub-theme of the cookie crumb mate. You draw the king out and then, obviously if you, um, if you don't take, if you run back, queen here is checkmate. You draw the king out and then you block his escape. The queen blocks the king's escape back to safety. And now the king has got a, a wall of pawns in front of him and it's very easy to find checkmate. So let's look at a second example of this. So you draw the king out, drawing the king even further out, then you block his escape, and the knight is now mating him. Queen takes rook, and of course if you just go pawn to, um, oh sorry, the pawn, hang on. Oh, that's interesting. So if you just go, king here oh there's queen takes f5 here and queen here checkmate that's very pretty um, but if he goes here queen takes rook and queen here and queen here checkmate so a little little bit of a dance but very easy to finish it off okay now this was again this is from last year's crazy house world championship and the finisher found this move against rapid variance was it from last year or the year before maybe from the year before and it's really really beautiful so you stop the king running back to safety and also draw him further up the board then you draw him even further up the board and he can't run because queen here is mate and then you block him off 
and then you just use oh well, it's you had a rook in hand really 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 beautiful mate you could also mate with pawns for sure but here you have a rook in hand amazing so one more block escape puzzle um you you want to take here but you're worried if you take here the king comes here so this is a really un quite unusual one you go here and then you take on g7 so the king is forced on to, into the, onto the king side and now you continue this um now you continue your attack now my intuition in this position would always be to play at f6 which isn't a bad move but at h6 is incredibly beautiful um, and the idea is if you take with the bishop there's a very simple mate just queen queen takes pawn and if you take with the queen with the king there's a really really beautiful mate which is queen here and it looks like you just got perpetual because you've got nothing in hand but that pawn is actually very handy you can drop the pawn here and you can't go back because queen f7 is mate so he has to take it but now you have the other of the two uh, of swallowtail and dovetail mate so i think that's maybe that's a swallow is that a swallowtail mate okay so you have this the, the queen mating because the king is cut off on the diagonal um now i should okay um I'll, I'll continue with this for another couple of minutes at least now this is another missed mate uh, between opera Wazen and jan lee uh, again one a very early game and i think opera Wazen is black and he played this and this and then he did the discover check but that's the first cookie he should have dropped a second cookie after which the discover check is amazing because it's a double check so you can't interpose and then it turns out you don't even need the queen bishop here check king has to go to a dark square and the knight checkmates pretty nice now um sometimes and this is an example from joanna tries herself so she may not be the strongest crazy house player but she found this mate players like jan lee and opera ways are sometimes missing these she found this one um and this was against adroit 02 um on the face of it we have no hope of any cookie crumbing or anything because there are no checks or we have pawn bishop rook so what you do is you set up the cookie crumb with a magnet you draw the king into the corner then you start the cookie crumb you have to take it because otherwise queen drops queen takes rook so you have to take it now you continue and again if you don't take it queen is landing so you have to take it drop again have to take it otherwise a queen landing maybe here it's not so clear it's a bishop landing and a queen landing is checkmate so you have to take it pawn so again you can't step back or queen here is checkmate so you have to take it queen here step back knight in comes back and that knight not only is checking but it's blocking the escape beautiful mate and joanna tries found it that is exquisite now that was a, a magnet to set up a cookie crumb now here's another example this is a cookie crumb to set up a magnet and this one's amazing joanne lee says lucas Schacht. yes okay so so draw that king out and with only a queen in hand can we can we find mate here let's see let's see queen here check queen here check no more pieces in hand and here's the genius move the magnet queen h1 and the idea is if you take this queen with the rook you're winning a pawn and that pawn is all you need for mate but if you take it with the king then i have this and if you're just going king g1 there's pawn king here we're winning a rook and with that rook we can deliver checkmate um whereas if you try and block well blocking is really no good for you at all because then i have at g2 and get another queen with checkmate 
OK, um, I'm guessing the match has started. So just going to show you two more. This is from my own game from a couple of days ago. On the face of it, there's no magnet mate because this knight is blocking the, the, the sequence of magnets. Uh, so there could be at h3 and knight takes f2, but there's a more beautiful mate, which is throw away the knight first, clearance, then do the magnet. And open up the bishop, take, step back here. This is deflecting the knight from h2. You'll see this looks very hard to mate because the rook's defending here, the knight's defending here. And so it turns out the way to mate here is either to drop a bishop on e1 to deflect the rook or the knight or here. Anyway, so takes, you bring your knight in, put your queen on with a pawn, pawn on h2, no longer defended. There'd still be a mate if the knight were here, but you'd have to sack your queen and it's a bit more complicated basically. Take here and take here, checkmate. And the last one I want to show you is the fact that this is me against Joanna. I'm black. I put the pawn here and Joanna said, how dare you cookie crumb me? And so what does Joanna play in this position? Hopefully she plays king h2 and denies the cookie. And thus ends this little session on the cookie crumb theme. White is completely winning. If you do take the cookie, then you will suffer. This square is covered by the rook, but there's always this one. Okay, so I um, hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the cookie crumb.